For many years, we've grown up with dogs in our lives. And this is the story of a dog who was a hero. While World War II was beginning to rage, a beloved Newfoundland dog named Pal was playing with the neighborhood children in Gander, Newfoundland. Because of his massive size, an accident occurred while playing with the children, and it was decided to give him to the Royal Rifles of Canada to be their mascot. The men renamed him Gander, in honor of the place he was from. Gander reminded the men of their loved ones back home, and he assisted his unit with security at the base. Gander was now an MP and was given the rank of Sergeant. In October 1941, the Royal Rifles were notified they were being transferred. On October 21st, they boarded trains and left to join the war. On their journey across Canada, the unit paraded in each city along the way. At the lead of all those parades was Sergeant Gander and his handler, Fred Kelly. When they arrived in Winnipeg, the Winnipeg Grenadiers joined the Royal Rifles and formed Sea Force. As they began boarding the ships, the commander of the ship refused to allow a bear on board. But after a bit of explaining, Sergeant Gander joined his unit. The 1,976 passengers traveled on their way to assist the British in defending Hong Kong. The Canadians were told many things about the Japanese. They were small, had poor eyesight, wore thick glasses and were afraid to fight at night and in the rain. They were expecting about 5,000 enemy troops, but the actual number was over 60,000. The Battle of Hong Kong began December 8th and lasted 17 days, ending on Christmas. Beginning December 8th, the Japanese continually bombed the Canadians on the island. On the night of December 18th, at 2200 hours, the Japanese began their assault of the island. The Japanese came across the Lee Mun Passage, and as they approached the beach, Gander ran at them growling, jumping and biting. As the Japanese regrouped and landed in a different part of the island, the battle intensified with Canadian casualties mounting. Due to the high number of injuries, some men had to be left waiting to be taken to the field hospital for treatment. In a ditch lay seven wounded soldiers on stretchers, waiting for transport to the first aid tents. The Japanese from a ravine on the other side of the road heard the men and began throwing grenades towards them. And as the grenades came close to the men, they would grab them and throw them back. Gander saw what was happening and when one grenade landed near the men, but out of their reach, Gander picked up the grenade and took it back to save his men. In the morning, Sergeant Gander was absent from roll call, and it was reported his lifeless body was seen lying in the middle of the road. Sergeant Gander, this soldier, gave so much for so many. After a ceremony in 1995 to pay tribute to the men of Sea Force, a Winnipeg Grenader, Bob Manchester said, Too bad a medal wasn't given to that damn dog. Jeremy Swanson, the Canadian War Museum Commemorations Director, asked, What damn dog? And Robert Flash Clayton told Gander's story. After hearing the story about Gander and his heroic deeds, Mr. Swanson petitioned the PDSA in England to award Gander the Dickin Medal. The Dickin Medal is only awarded to animals who have displayed the highest act of valor and honor in wartime while in the British Commonwealth forces. On October 27, 2000, 59 years after his actions, Sergeant Gander received his Dickin Medal. The Dickin Medal is considered the animal's Victoria Cross. Gander was the only Canadian animal to receive the Dickin Medal for actions in World War II. On August 15, 2009, a dedication ceremony to honour and remember all the Battle of Hong Kong veterans was held at the newly erected Remembrance Wall. On the Remembrance Wall, in its proper alphabetical order, is the name of one fallen soldier, a courageous Newfoundland dog named Gander. And this film will tell his story. <laughs>